Welcome to the Dude Show Podcast, starring Patrick and Chris, with updates from our sexy bosom blessed news girl and commentary from producer Lewis. Clothing is optional for this broadcast, so grab yourself a whatever, sit back, and prepare to eat pie like you're on death row, you son of a bitch. And without further ado, let's fire this motherfucker up. What, uh, is that you, Lewis? You fucked that up. What did you do? What did you do? Oh, he wanted to add more cheers. Yeah. Oh, he didn't which fuck I it like. up. He was he was giving you more. But it was a little weird clip of silence. It sounded like a, a mistake. Oh, it was a jump cut to applause. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> All right, Lewis. Everybody's well, a critic. Welcome back. <laughs> let's what, go back to the beginning. What, restart never happened. What, 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 no, let's keep going. That was uh, that was great. Uh, <laughs> Chris, how you doing? I'm doing good, Patrick. Glad uh, to be here. Well, the clapping. Glad to see everybody. Well, I complain about clapping in that intro. You, you did. You could, it's it, first. It's not enough. Then it's too much. Then there's the no, 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 Chris. Uh, it it was delightful. Uh, oh. The crowd cheering, but that little clip <laughs> of silence uh, for the listening audience the, the may have been perceived as a fuck up. Yes or no? Back to one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, Lewis. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's the what we do here. We keep it real, man. Because we never fuck up with anything else. That's exactly. The, that's the one thing. Well, you know what it was. What I mean, was maybe it? the huge uh, studio Lewis. audience here. The the uh, <laughs> the applause light went on like a split second late than it should have. So that's a, that's the delayed reaction. <laughs> oh, d- d- don't get me going on that guy. I, I'm already infuriated by today and this year. That the Seth Rogen thing. Oh, him and that goddamn Jonah Hill guy. I can't stand them, Chris. <laughs> why, why do they, Christine? Do you think those two idiots are funny? Uh, no, no. I mean, I, they're somewhat charming, but they do the. It's a one note. It's like it's a little. Old. What was the last Seth Rogen movie you went out? He go, he's in every other fucking movie, I don't right? Know. What was it? What, uh, did you go see? Uh, what was the last movie he was in? This oh, is the oh, end. Oh, the neighbors. The neighbor. You did you see that? It wasn't funny. We did not, not think movie. it was funny at all. Really? Oh my God! It was like a bunch of scenes they just threw together to try to make a movie. Oh God, I, I'm I'm jealous. You know what? This really comes. At, I'm jealous. We have a sketch called the fart, which I think is the funniest thing that's ever yes. been created for the internet. <coughs> exactly. By people. Uh, yes. Yes, and uh, no one's watched it, and it's hilarious. And then these two hacks, uh, uh, they are hacks. not funny. <laughs> they really are. Well, D Rock, what's up? You, what do you think? Uh, they're all on uh, Judd Apatow's balls. I guess that's what yeah, I heard. They're on no? their own yeah. balls at this point. All right. So anyway, welcome. Sorry, the show got off a little weird. Uh, Lewis, uh, why don't you play some little sound effects over there? A uh, little dead air here. We got uh, Chris McRitchie. Oh, wow. Well, there you go, dear. I'm great. I've got a couple beers. I've got a full beard. I'm uh, doing well. Thank what you. else is new? What, yeah. You know. Christina. Happy Christina. Christine. Christina. Uh, how you doing, dear? Latins are trending. They are. Um, <laughs> they are. Vampires <laughs> are trending. They're trending. So are vampires. Boom. Uh, good to be here. Good to see you, dear. Happy uh, holidays. D- D-Rock, happy holidays. How are you? Happy holidays. I'm living the dream, really. <laughs> Aren't we all? Wake up. And producer Lewis. Oh, yeah. Hello there. Oh, there you go. I, I love that it only took us like, what, a year and a half to actually have producer Lewis be here all the time. With, produ- with the commentary from producer Lewis, and he was never here, and that was the running joke uh, forever. And now producer Lewis is here all the time. Now, as you know, oh, I was like, I gotta get paid. I got bills, dog. Mikey was always very upset by this. He was. Uh, Lewis's name came first in the intro, yeah. and uh, Mikey did not like that. Mikey's noticeably absent tonight. Last one of the year. He think he could have made the trip downstairs. <laughs> Now, Chris, I'm glad you Mikey mentioned. I'm glad you mentioned what where we are in a year because in, in the podcast world, a lot of people don't know. They listen to uh, podcasts whenever they want. It's right. not like radio. No, um, you uh, click on a button on the, that internet thing. It's goddamn and, free for all. And you don't know what you're going to be listening to. But I will say for our listening audience of what, what how many listeners have we got, Chris? Thirteen thousand. <laughs> Yes, lucky wishful no, thinking. Lucky but I think 13. it's closer to thirteen. I don't know. We haven't, we, we haven't posted one in a while. Once, I, right. once I get my equipment fixed, maybe uh, we'll that's be surprised. The reason. Yes, well, we're blaming it on, on that. I'm yes. concerned that our in-house crowd is dwindled. Yeah, 
That's well, true. We did have, used to have a fuller used house. We have a full house. <laughs> uh, true. Well, it's the holidays, people. You're listening to a, a podcast that is occurring in the holiday season, running right up against the end of the year, which means that uh, what's upon us? A new year. Yes. Right? Yes, sir. And uh, every time at this year, I like to do a little self-reflection please i like oh, introspection to, uh take stock in my life uh i like to um review the highs and lows of the uh past year and and maybe think what could i do to improve the coming year but they're not resolutions no that's exactly what they are no 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 what are they no because resolutions you never end up sticking you know never end up sticking it out no one ever ends up Sticking it out on their New Year's resolution. I well, D Rock, I know where you're where you're going with this. You're talking about that fat chick that said, uh, "I'm only going to have one." Hagen-Dah. I was going to say Weight Watchers. I'm only going to have yeah. that one Hagen Da. Yeah. Uh, instead uh-huh. of two. Uh, I'm going to use my gym membership. How fancy of you! I'm going to leave the Z off as well. That's that's how it's serious. I'm taking this well, resolution. Uh, I I agree, uh, D Rock, that a lot of people don't uh, keep. Uh, they make a New Year's resolution and they don't hold to it. Okay, a couple weeks in, a couple months at best, they start uh, dipping into the uh, fatty foods. Uh, they don't, uh, that gym membership that they promised that they'd be uh, uh, going at least three times a week, uh, way underused, they never go. Uh, the guy who says, eh, I'm only gonna, I'm gonna, you know, only sleep around three times uh, behind my wife's back this year. <laughs> he, you know, uh, as who you says know, that? Uh, well, I know a couple guys. <laughs> You got a guy, but I, I am different. Okay, good. I am a man Glad who to know that. Um, will uh, make make a make a list, check it uh, twice, of, check it twice of the things that I will change, and I will hold myself to that goddamn list. Oh, good for you. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it's so true I, though. They, uh, well, I, I uh, that was timely, but it's true. <clears throat> I spent some time today. Uh, oh, chewing on things that I could do better in the uh, uh, coming years, and uh, I think you're perfect. That's why I love you. Yeah, I know. You know. That's why uh, I want to ensure that this year's uh, going to be a good year, good year, uh, because last year was horrible. Uh, 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 horrible. Well, that's that's a it was really great. strong. That, that's word. strong. Well, it wasn't that good. Uh, no, there was I a lot of there high, were, there's a lot of highs and lows. There's a lot of potential. There's things unrealized. It was not a horrible year. I was, think it was. For you, it was equal of highs and lows, which made it a bad year because you're used to the good years where there's more highs than lows. Yeah, like uh, I like a lot of good things going on. And, and when, uh, like, you know, uh, there wasn't a lot of Vicodin around this last year. You know what I mean? Those are very big highs. <laughs> Talk to the management. <clears throat> so here I go. Uh, this list I'm going to uh, say is in no particular order. All right. This is my New Year's resolutions. All right. You ready? Uh, Lewis, you want to play some music here? What are you in the mood for, sir? Well, Lewis, you're the sound guy. You pick. Oh, boy. Number one. <laughs> My beating off habit shall be reduced to two times a week. Wow. Uh, here's what's going on. From what? Yeah, please, from please what? elaborate. Well, my girlfriend... <laughs> wait, wait, where is this from? Keep it going. I love it. <laughs> but I, I want to say this. It's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, okay. Um... I, I beat off a lot. Uh, every other day, most weeks, every single day. My girlfriend mentioned that this is starting to affect our sex life, okay? And look, I was denying this for a long time, but I have to say now that when I click on that little button that says Latina whores that are come guzzling uh, sluts. In heels. In heels. Uh, and I beat off to that, albeit five minutes out of my day. That inevitably is hurting my sex life with my girlfriend. It could be. And I say this like a triumphant Trojan warrior. Trojan warrior. Although I don't wear condoms. A stealth whacker. I turn it up. I love it. This is giving me, you know, I will say this to the audience here. And my friends, my lovers, there are two here. Chris, you one, my girlfriend <laughs> sitting right behind me. No, no, no. Stop trying to We shared a lady. No, 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 we didn't. I will say this to anyone. I am putting this on public record. From here on out, and the new year, turn that music up, I'm feeling the vibe. I will not masturbate more than twice a week to porn 
from here on out are may the, the, the God strike me down in this plastic chair that I sit on this podcasting table with, with my friends. From now on, I will have sex with the one I love, that beautiful Nubian girl, that wife, that one with the wife? beautiful is that a, ass. Wait, is that, is that, that an exclusive? Like is that a revelation? What? 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 I call her my wife. Okay. Because we live together, I thought Chris. you had news. That don't mean she's your wife. Don't stop me now, Chris. <laughs> From here on out, my penis, my population pace will be hers, not the backside of a, a backsplash on a sink in a bathroom. I'm not saying that I masturbate in the bathroom with Astro Glide or soap when she's around. What I'm saying is that from it's here on happened. out, my sperm is hers. Oh. Whether it be in her face. That's big of you. Her tatas. Backside. Also big of you. Internal. Oh. <laughs> That's a commitment. TMI. TMI. Yeah. Here it is. Baby, I'm coming home. <laughs> right all over you. That's it. Rev <sighs> Resolution number one. That's number one. Hit How the music. Are there? I feel chills going down my spine right now. I That's got how chills impactful that was. Spot just, I, I can only think of something bombing. going down my spine. I can only think spine. of one person that can police this. Number two. Who's that? Well, it would be your girlfriend, right? I would hope. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, she's sitting right behind Either me. Either that or McRitchie. Thank God I can't <laughs> see her face right now. All right, number two. <clears throat> uh, this one's a little uh, less than that other one. Okay. Uh, well, I, you um, started strong. I'm pretty sure that I am uh, not going to be stopping at stop signs anymore in residential areas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's terrible. No, no, no. That's horrible. Guys, 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 hold on, hold on. You've heard that uh, in uh, when they do those things where they go, you know, you're going to live to be 80, uh, 30 years of that are going to be sleeping. You, you, know, you, you ever hear those things mm -hmm. where they go? Or, yes. um, or watching you know, uh, TV. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, uh, two years of your life are going to be brushing your teeth. Yeah. Do you know how many probably hours I spend sitting at a stop sign per year. That's 72 probably far less than sitting at a stoplight. You think so? Well, oh, absolutely. Sure. Well, a stop I, sign. You just stop and one, go. Two, three. Well, uh, I've, I've, I've thought about this. I'm, I'm not going to run uh, street stop lights. lights. I, I appreciate yeah, yeah. No, no, that. I, just, I think everybody does just, um, just the, uh, in residential areas. Um, cause I've almost gotten in a couple fights with some white guys on bicycles. <laughs> Um, you're always so getting in fights with white guys on bicycles. What if there are children houses. present? Or what if it's five o'clock and you're in Beverly Hills on Canaan in Sunset? Exactly. Well, I uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Trying to avoid the traffic on Elevado. Well, <laughs> look, busting guys, through. I have a pretty long list here, but I thought it might be fun if I go around the table and you guys don't worry about it. Just roll off your head. Last year was a little tough, at least for me. I don't know how tough it was for you, Ostrander. What, what do you got going on this year? What will something you'll change? Uh, some friends you might uh, get rid of. Maybe don't stop loaning people money or something. Like, what, what are you going to change? What's your New Year's re resolution? Maybe more to, to, be, to be more generous with, with my, uh, my blow jobs in what, is 2015. That right? Wow. You know Holy what? Been a, little, been a little stingy in 2014. A woman Jesus. must always do that. Man. Takes I, a big person to admit their mistakes. Yeah. Takes a really big person and, to. And on the same note, I'm gonna uh, be uh, choking my girlfriend more. <laughs> Excellent. Shut so, the fuck up. <laughs> some people are into that. Some people like a little a little blow pressure All right, around so the neck. So Ostrander said uh, more uh, BJ's for the man. And what's yours, Ostrander? Uh, 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 sorry, uh, I was. <laughs> Christine McRitchie. Chris. Chris. Oh, yeah. Christine. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I uh, for 2014, I promised to be more selfish. Oh. I promise to be more Chris centric. <laughs> I feel I've given a lot to the people and I need to give back to myself in 2015. Uh, that's a very LA. It's, it's, uh, it's the, you know, <laughs> you've heard of the summer of George. 2015 is going to be the year of McCritchie. I like that. Yeah. It, well, like, uh, can you give us an example of how you might be treating yourself as opposed to how you didn't treat yourself? This oh, year? God, put me on the spot like well, that. Uh, maybe, uh, Chris, maybe you will be uh, taking some time for yourself, do things more that you want to do. Yes. Yes, in a nutshell. Like watching. Uh, I'll go back to be. I'll go back to being who I was a couple of years ago. I like there, that. Yeah, you know. It was working out for you then, right? It, it was. <laughs> it was really working out for me. Yeah. Fucking Captain Selfish. All right. He's well, back. I like He's, that. I'm, I'm flying the flag. I'm taking the boat out for a spin. Well, I told you, Chris. The reason I uh, love my girlfriend is she allows me to uh, watch TV, old people shows, <laughs> uh, Dateline, Catch Contractor, hours, Catch Contractor. <laughs> 
I uh, love that. She show. likes. She, she doesn't judge me on the drinking. Okay, I like to drink a That's lot, good. Chris. I, I'm aware I like to drink Is a lot, too. Is that on your list this year? I'm going yeah, to no, get to no. that, Ostrander. And I, uh, she she doesn't judge me. And uh, That's good. That little lady you're dating, no. she should accept you as she you does. are. She you does. are a prize. She accepts me way more than she should. That little lady should accept you she as do, the she uh, does. She accepts you me are. way more than she should. She, she turns a blind eye to quite a bit. Quite a bit, <laughs> let me tell you. Don't they all? All the yeah, best ones. You know. Hey, uh, Lou Dog, wh- what's your New Year's uh, resolution? What are you going to be doing this year? Your hair looks great, by the way. It you does. look like uh, I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I know him. I, I wait. I know. I know what his resolution what is, is. What is it? What is it? His his resolution oh, is to accept yeah, Christine's resolution <laughs> and welcome it with open arms. That is Lewis's look resolution. Out. Look out! <laughs> Probably. All right, T Rock. What's yours? What, what is yours? I'm going to try to get out of the house more this year, I think. Uh, I've spent a lot of time in, o- in my office, in, a, in, in the house, and behind a computer, and I really just want to try to get out just maybe twice a week. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. you know, as you, as you get older and close, you know, closer to 40, it, mm-hmm. it's tougher to, to get yourself out of, out of the house. You get home, you're tired, you have, you know, maybe smoke a bong load. Yeah. Hello! Um, I have a delivery! What do you do with that? You just say, no, I'm going to stay here for the next two weeks and do it all. Yeah, I'm just going to hang out. <laughs> you know, all do, right. all, do all my coke by myself. I'm going to yes. go out and I'm going to share my coke. It's the best way to everybody. do it. Please do. Make it last. Uh, Patrick's Thank New Year's you. resolution number three. Uh, I'm not going to do any more sports talk with people. Okay, <laughs> you you do. Yeah. You so, hate sports. I hate sports, and I but I wear an LA Dodgers hat around. So what happens is I look like a man for the audience. I don't know if you've looked at pictures of me on the, uh, all uh, uh, thirty of you. Uh, <laughs> I'm a pretty tall guy. I probably look athletic, but I wear an LA Dodgers cap uh, 24 hours a day. I, I wear it in bed when my old lady's on top of me. She's like, take it off, and. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so I, that what that does but is you it can't attracts, name a Dodger. No, <laughs> not at all, dude. I, you're just I, you're pandering. I, you are. So these dudes will go, hey, so uh, uh, they'll go, hey, how about that game last night? Your Dodgers, huh? They didn't do too good. I'm like, yeah, they didn't do too good. They're like, yeah, man, maybe you guys got to next year. Uh, you got to draft this guy, and I'm not playing that game anymore, man. That's too much stress on me. So it's, from here on out, I'm going to say uh, I, I watch Bravo. You know what you need to do? You need to go to the Army-Navy door, the uh, Army-Navy store, store, and get a – thank you, D-Rock – and uh, get one of those non-denominational hats. Yeah. Just the ball ca- – just the black ball cap with nothing on the it's front, a, like the like the gardeners wear. Right. So then you're not – so then you're not repping any sports team, and they can't ask any questions. You're, you're just, probably right. I'm bringing stri- it on strictly, myself, aren't strictly I? Strictly sunshade. But now Patrick, I know it's a, for Christmas. It's a, a longer hat. conversation. It's a longer conversation if you tell them that you don't actually like sports because then you have to explain to them why you're wearing a dog. But I feel like I owe to them it to them. Why you're yeah. a homosexual. So why you you're don't care for manly sports. You're getting the easiest way out by just saying – just agreeing with whatever they're why saying. Why don't you just change well, your hat? Well, no, what, what I thought was no, because that's cause too I'm big simple, tall, Christine. People tell me they'll start talking to me about like, hey, so um, who's your team? Uh, I'll be like, uh, the Patriots. Oh, you're all the straight. Well, it's a tough year that's going on right now. I'm like, oh you're god, straight, I don't know guys. any names of any players. I don't even, I don't understand anything. So what I figured is I'll just go like this. Um, I, I'm gay. I uh, I suck. Cock, there you go. And I love Bravo. That doesn't mean you you wouldn't like sports though. Yeah. No? No. No, they're not mutually exclusive. All right. Well, he- here's another one. Uh, I've decided uh, this year I'm going to stop um, uh, yelling at um, homeless people that ask for change. Yeah, no, I don't agree with that. I think you should continue to yell. Well, there's this guy in my neighborhood that. that I've named Scumbag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I know you guys have seen him. He's a guy that wears almost like a, uh, a hood on his head. He'll knock up on your window. I oh. thought that was the girl. No, the that's nun? a guy that he's that, over down it. by me too. Thank you. That is a girl. That's a woman. That's that is a not woman. A girl. Yeah, that's it is. Nun. It's a woman. She's down by me in Sherman Oaks. Guys, Ooh. that is a guy. I don't think so. That's I, a he's woman. been out for ten years. No. I need proof. I call, I used to when I lived out here. I called her the nun. Yeah. Like she's the thing that fucking horror movies. She goes, okay, she bless. Says, God bless. bless. Yeah, God bless. God bless. She got the, she got the God witchy bless. chin hair. 
And yeah, she's down by me. She stands in the in and out line and knocks on everybody's window. Well, me and my old lady were outside of the California Kitchen uh, pickup uh, dr uh, drop. Yes. On uh, 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 Ventura Boulevard the <laughs> other day, we were what? we which, were out in front of the dumb waiter. Which is it, the pickup or the drop? <laughs> we're on the drop, and uh, this motherfucker comes walking down, and I see him coming a mile away. Her. And, he, and and he goes, "Could you spare some change?" And I, uh, my girlfriend will attest, I open my door to intentionally hit him. And then uh, I said, I will kill you, motherfucker. And then he, he went down on the ground and said, oh, please, no, don't hurt me. And then a looker by goes, oh, my God, what happened here? And I'm like, oh, geez, here we go. All you need is a cell phone recording. That, that, person, we that person's been begging for like 16 years. I told him, I said, asshole, how's here? it going? I've seen you here for 10 years. What I say, to, what well. I say to them when they ask me is I go, hey, everything's on credit. I just have credit cards. Do you, but don't you that's feel weird my, saying no, that? That's my response. Wouldn't you rather punch him in the face? No. Yeah, no, absolutely. Right. But I don't. I always used to tell them change comes from within. That was my standard. <laughs> oh, what a my, bitch. Look at uh, Standard <laughs> response when I lived in San Francisco. They slept oh, on my I doorstep. I used to step over them working my like nine to one bullet nine job. And I would say change comes within. And that was it. What do you tell the people at Starbucks? For a tip, don't look directly into the sun. <laughs> so. That's my other yes, one, Chris. Yes. No more tipping, 20%. Yes. Why am I tipping <laughs> the guy to get me a coffee? I like don't they, know. they turn around and pull a lever. I I'm already know. paying 285 So in 2000 95. blank, you're done with that, aren't you, Ostrander? I've been done with it. They, don't, <laughs> tip, they yeah. don't tip people in other countries. You notice that in, when you were in Europe, Patrick? You don't tip people. No, they do not. And I've been uh, fortunate enough to be able to travel abroad. Worldly. Yes. <laughs> All right, peeps. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Uh, look, we've uh, exhausted this. I think we could go on for hours. We could. Uh, but um, let's play a game. All right. Let's have some fun. Lewis, you know the game? What? What? Yes. Flex the fun. Flex the fun. Guess the score. And you'll have one. Flex the fun. Flex the fun. And humans are beat. Someone ate the run. Flex the fun. Flex the fun. By the way, I got a 49 score. Flakes to find, to find. Lost in translation was on board. It to totally find. was. Flakes to find. These intros get better and better. What? That these intros get better and better. Did you, uh, D-Rock, did you see Lost in Translation? Yes. Oh, what did you think of it? Come on. It, it wasn't my, it wasn't my favorite. Jesus Christ, that movie's a piece of shit. I like Scar jo. What's that? Yeah, Scarlett oh. Johans. Scar jo. All right, uh, here's how it goes. Uh, Flicks to Fun is, you all, we all know Rotten Tomatoes, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. No. Chris, you know Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's a score of critics and uh, users, and they rate a film. 100 critics rate a film, and they do a score from 1 to 100. So what we're going to do here, honey, uh, actually, you know what? Babe, uh, can you keep score on this? All right, she's going to do this. Uh, how am I going to do this? I don't know. All right, so what we're going to do is you guys are going to guess the score that you think the critics gave a movie. Okay. And as close as you can get, preferably. And at the end, just like golf, the person with the lowest score is the winner. Like I know how that? that feels. I got a trophy. All yeah. right. D-Rock, you want to play? Absolutely. All right. Ostrander, you're going to play, yeah? Oh, of course. Chris McRitchie, you're going to play. All right, yep. so here we go. The theme is... We've been talking about the holidays, the end of the uh, the uh, year. It's Christmas. It is. Uh, so uh, we're going to do holiday movies. In, uh, Lewis, you want to play anything? Play maybe Hanukkah, some Kwanzaa, music? and uh, Festivus as well. What's Festivus? Uh, Seinfeld. It's where, you, it's where you have a steel pole in yes. your, uh, in your house instead of a Christmas tree. Air the grievances. All right. So here you go, dear. Um <laughs> <laughs> Chris? Yes. A Christmas story. A Christmas story. Yes. Have you seen it? Many times. All right. What do you think overall? And I think uh, Rotten Tomatoes does a pretty good job at rating a movie so you know where it sits. What do you think? Um, Rotten Tomatoes probably gave that a 95. Uh, and I think because it came out many years before Rotten Tomatoes ever came out, and that movie has, like fine wine, it's aged what it's matured with age yeah I, I could agree with that I think a lot <clears> of it's a favorite I, I would say I would say Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 90 I, I, uh, and that might be lowballing it now you uh, 
you realize that that kid, uh, Peter Billingsley, Peter Billingsley. Yes. Yeah, went on to uh, be a big uh, director, right? No, producer. He does a lot of stuff with Vince oh, Vaughn. Australian or what? He, he actually runs, uh, he runs a Wild West Picture show with Vince Vaughn. Really? Yep. And he's uh, directed a couple of movies, yeah? I believe so, but he produces a lot. Yeah, he showed and up. And he's, he's, he's doing something on Broadway right now. He's, he was in uh, Couples Retreat. He always shows up in the Vince Vaughn stuff. He was in uh, The Breakup. As an actor. And yes. he looks exactly the same. Pretty glasses. Much, pretty much. No glasses. No glasses. But he looks the, he looks the same, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ostrander, uh, did you see the movie? Yes, you'll shoot your eye out, the leg, of course. His um, name is uh, Ralphie. Yes. Ralphie. Uh, you know, I like the movie. I thought it was really smart as a kid. I love that scene where uh, his dad's car breaks down or something, and, and <laughs> he throws the lug nuts up in the yeah. air, and he goes, fudge. But I didn't say fudge. Exactly. Yeah. And I thought that was so funny and smart as a kid. Very, very one Very years. quotable. I like very when the mom years. makes says, like, make your piggy face or something. Mm. They're, like, eating food. <laughs> oh, when they're eating the mashed potatoes. <laughs> Ostrander, what do you think they rated this? This is Rotten Tomatoes, probably mm -hmm. a 94. All right, so you're going on, well, you're, it's really how high. do you feel about that, Chris? She just went one point <clears throat> underneath you. I think she's trying to, yeah, she's trying to cut well, me, oh, out, of, cut me out of the knees. I, I did say 90. 90. Yeah, but 94. To, yeah. You yeah. said 95, Chris. No, I said 90. Oh, all right. All right, D-Rock, what do you think? You see the movie? Yeah, I've seen the movie a lot. What do you think? I think Rotten Tomatoes is actually going to give it almost a perfect score. Uh, so 100. I think, I think it's going to be a, like a 98. Uh, 98. Okay. Um, fair. W w what, Ostrander? Tight race. Tight race. race. All right. <clears throat> um, Tight pants. Uh, play the drum roll, will you, for F's sake, uh, Lewis? Oh, Lewis is on a different page. <laughs> oh, please. Well, Looking you know, at porn. He's busy. You know, normally Mikey is uh, doing... All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, the answer is... 88. <gasps> oh, wow. wow. Oh, oh. I had that in my mind. That would be McRitchie. Hey, everybody. Chris won again. Oh. By two points. Oh, so right. So right. Because there's always okay. got to be haters. By the way, that's on 24, 24 hours on uh, TBS this year. They play yes. it. They play it I, you know what? I love that movie. I, I don't like that movie, uh, White Christmas or the 38th Street or whatever the fuck. I like Elf. Movie. Miracle too. on 34th like Street. That's on here, buddy. I like Vacation. All right. Let's let's uh, let's try another one. Let's trains, planes, and automobiles. Oh, John Candy, uh, Steve Martin. John Candy left us way too early. Way too soon. Yes. Um... Came out in 97, uh, 87, sorry. Uh, I love this movie. It's a little melancholy, I want to say, because it's really depressing. Uh, John Candy, as a, uh, you find out at the end, he's uh, a dude, who's, uh, his wife died. He's Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if, yeah, I know. It's only been 25 <laughs> years, Chris. I'm sorry you to never know. ruin this <laughs> for one anybody. Of, one, of, one of the tens may not have seen that movie. Those aren't pillows. Those, exactly. Uh, D-Rock, what is uh, Rotten Tomato? What do the critics rate this movie? I liked it a lot. Well, if they rated, if they rated the Christmas movie at eighty-eight, I'm going to say they have to rate this one up at like ninety-five. Well, it's not the same amazing... hundred people, so I wouldn't use that logic. I'm just saying. I'm going to go with ninety-two. <laughs> Blart. Ninety-two. All right, D Rock's ninety-two. Ninety-two. Ostrander, you see this movie? Yeah. Listen, How many times? Listen, this is a classic. I, I think I saw it when it came out originally. I've seen it a good four or five times. It has a lot of highs and lows, and it clutches at the heart. I think uh, I think if we got an 88 on A Christmas Story, I'm going to go with 83 here. An 83. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, you. Uh, how many times have you seen this movie? I've, I've like four or five times. Four or five times. Yeah. Chris, the, the yes. song that happens at the end of this movie where it's a mixture, I want to say it was a – uh, one of the early mix-ups. It's a uh, Leonard Skinner song mixed with a. Uh, uh, well, you're looking at me like I'm effing crazy. It, it, it was a mashup. It, it wasn't Simple Minds. Don't you forget about me? Oh shit, that's Chris, the wrong movie. Chris, how, <laughs> how, are you effing with me? Lewis, look this up. We. That's an easy Lewis. A. Little bit. Uh, little bit. Um, no, 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 no. It's I like a, that movie. It's a mashup of two songs. Yeah, I don't remember that. Uh, it's Free Bird or something mixed with something else. It's very beautiful. I don't remember a lot of things. You know, before Little Wayne, Chris, there were other white people <laughs> that were in their fifties, <laughs> uh, mashing up songs. Yeah. I think DJ Muggs was Little Little Wayne isn't yeah, white, but or yeah. fifty. No, no, I'm saying that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. All right, Chris, uh, what's your score? So here? what were the score? What did D Rock say? Why do you need to? Because I need to know. This I, is like the Price is Right. I might need to undercut. You were listening. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I might need to undercut. Uh, I need to know the previous it. scores. It's the last song, Lewis. It's the last song in the movie. But Man, it's your it. it's I your fucking it. fault, Lewis. It. It's your fault. So what are All the right. scores? All right. Well, if you need to know, I do. said ninety two. Okay. Ostrander said eighty three. 
Oh. Then the McGritchie's going to say 87. 87. 87. Okay. Yes. One of my favorite um, lines from that movie is, you know what I wish I had? <laughs> Another set of hands and more balls or something <laughs> like that. I like that, too. I thought you were yeah. going to cry when you were saying that. <laughs> I might have. You know, I, I my favorite scene in that movie is when the um, they're driving down the wrong side of the road. Mm-hmm. And then, it, do you remember You're that? drunk. You're yeah, how does he know where we're going? <laughs> and he plays the saxophone. Oh, with his You're fingers. You're going the wrong way. Yeah. It, it, uh, Ray, Ray Charles, the mess the around. wrong way. <laughs> that was so How beautiful. does he know where he's going? Uh, you're drunk. <laughs> so good. I, I oh, love yeah. that as a kid. Uh, all right. So uh, let's see what the score is. Uh, planes, uh, trains, and automobiles. The score is 94. <gasps> Ooh. Which Ooh. means uh, D Rock. Nice you work, D Rock. Uh, two, uh, within two points. So you got whoop, two points whoop. for that, kid. Uh, Lewis still looking for that song, huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please give him a break. Fucking what do you mean give him a such break? Such a ball buster. Do you know how good Mikey was? Hey, no. Oh, really? <laughs> no, Carter? <laughs> give him a break. All right. All give right. All right. All right. <clears throat> Thanks, Ludo. Here we go. Lou, uh, uh, Mick Ritchie, I know you. Uh, this movie is going to be close to your heart, I'm pretty sure. Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Woo! starring Chevy Chase. Uh, hold on. No, that's not the song. Uh, hold on. Sidebar. Yeah. Robble, robble, robble. It's the courtroom walla. You know, it's probably not on the soundtrack. Oh, to be God. honest. All right. Yeah, it's one of those matter. secret ones they put at the end of oh, the movie. Yeah. All of a sudden, all right. uh, yeah, it's figure, not there. <laughs> figure it out later. <laughs> Ostrander, you're next. Uh, National Lampoon. Did you did you see this movie? It came uh, out in 1989. Yes, of course. All right. Of course. Uh, I didn't think it was funny. Overrated. <gasps> Chevy. Chevy. What? Oh, what? I watched oh, you know it. I agree you with you, Pat. Sleep. You're out of your mind. I, I am shocked you. by this. Guys, the there's certain movies where you... All right. Hold on. Hold on. There's certain movies that you loved as a child that is a piece of shit, okay? Like, you didn't know it because you were a kid. You loved it as a I kid. I still watch it now. Wait a minute. I'll extrapolate when it's my turn, but I... I Chris, I, I, Chris, I, Chris. What? what was that TV show on in the early 80s that was uh, that Will Ferrell remake with uh, where it was them going into the different uh, dimensions? Where the, the Land dinosaurs, of the Lost. Land of the Lost. Yeah. Do you remember that as a kid? Yeah, I hated it. The I never watched. You hated it? I yeah. loved it. Well, I was obsessed with it. I did too, but I was a child. I wasn't into it. Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. This that is a fucking that I liked. I'm making. I've watched I can, Vacation I can, I can my whole life. I've roll with a fucking sea monster in a, in a garage. I've watched it my whole it, life from a, a child to now. That's D-Rock, it's a different. steaming pile of shit, but as a kid, I loved it. It was beloved to me, but when you look at it now, it's You had a fucked up childhood. You needed something. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sorry to bring it up. All right, so, uh, Christine. Um, <clears throat> Land of the Lost, that uh, was your thing. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. What do you, what do you think of God in Oh, man, I don't know. It's just not Christmas without, without watching that show on, like, Christmas Day, having some wine or a Bloody Mary. That movie's playing. Mm. Christmas Vacation or just Vacation? Christmas, Christmas vacation. vacation. Oh, that one's amazing. Have you heard the theme, D-Rock? What, what, what are you even swallowing uh, tonight? All right, what do you, Ostrander? Uh, well, this is a tough one because I think, like you said, I uh, I don't know if critics will fully love this movie, but I think it does have a huge following, obviously. Um, I'm going to say uh, 87. 87. Okay. All right. Uh, Chris uh, McRitchie, what, what, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. You're very... Okay, uh, let me... I've, I've got some thoughts. Okay. The first vacation's a classic. Uh, absolutely. Can, 100%. All, all time. European vacations kind of an abortion. There's there's True. a there's a couple funny moments, and then Audrey's the, and, fat, and then they came back. Yeah, <laughs> she's uh, dead. Audrey's like uh, she's dead now. That that Audrey's dead. She's dead. Like the retarded. Oh, she's died? like she was like the Down syndrome. Audrey. Yeah, she was like the fat so, Down syndrome Audrey. But the fact that they let's keep up with that Christmas cheer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. She, she oh, looked oh, like oh. she had the, she, looked, she looked like she had the downs, but they were people were so happy that they got the original people back for you know for the most part. At least you know. Uh, you talking least, about Juliet Lewis Juliet playing Lewis? the daughter? No, 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 I'm talking about Chevy and Beverly D'Angelo. They were in every the, movie. The, kid, Chris. the kids were fucking interchangeable. Mm, well, they were happy Beverly they came. Beverly D'Angelo. Can I speak, please? I agree with that, D-Rock, 100. percent um, But the movie, it's not that good. Mm-hmm. I will say it, it's 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 all right. But Randy Quaid was in it. That, that <laughs> qualifies as getting the people back. The back shitter's together. full. I'm gonna say seven. I'm gonna say 75. All right, that's a butte, Clark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, D Rock, what say you? 
Uh, I'm going to say 88. 88. Wow. Okay. Generous. All right, here we go. Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which I saw in the theater in 1989. Sorry about got that. Got beat up after it. By a guy <laughs> named uh, Joey uh, Sa- Savatelli. Of course. Punched me right of in the face. Of course, the Italians. Only kid was wearing uh, gloves on his hand because it was so cold. <laughs> he punched me so hard he knocked me out. Uh, I was shooting my mouth off behind him the whole Shocking. time. Shocking. Surprising. <laughs> He broke my fucking nose, this piece of shit. Sorry and then he that. fucking impregnated my stepsister. In Boston? I don't believe it. I want to meet this guy. Is this a telenovela? That's a fine fucking is he, a, is, is he out of jail yet? Uh, D-Rock won. <gasps> no, he, did? he didn't. Uh, well, actually, who was the lowest score? 75? Yes. Ostrander. Uh, Mick Ritchie, Ritchie. won. Thank you. It was 64. Well, yeah, I know. I told you it was a piece of shit. All right. One more. Uh, I think we're all Bill Murray fans. Yeah. Or at least I Absolutely. Am. Yeah, we all like this guy. Who? It's Bill Murray. Hole. It's in the hole. Mm. I like Bill Murray from Ghostbusters, uh, Caddyshack. Uh, I also like him in Nothing New, uh, except Rushmore from 10 years ago, right? Rushmore is a good mm. movie. Yeah. What's the zombie movie he was in? Mm-hmm. Well, he's a small part in that. That was amazing. Exactly. All right. Here's the I movie. saw St. Vincent. It's pretty good. From 1988. Yes. Scrooged. Yes. Uh, we back around to you or Ostrander? You can bring it. You can give it to me, Chris. I think you probably have some thoughts on this. You're, I do. It's my favorite. Ho- it's my favorite holiday. Is movie. that right? Scrooge is my fucking favorite. All I right. mean, like all of them, or all, just that uh, version? There's there's a lot of quotable lines in Scrooge. You know, when he's wa- when he's walking through the office with fucking Bob Mitchum, going, "We need to create some more shows with some pet appeal." You know how Kojak had a always ate a lot of pop. Maybe we, l- lollipop. We maybe we need to find a uh, cop that. Dangle string makes a lot of random <laughs> movements. <laughs> I really enjoy that movie because uh, it look it looks like Lethal Weapon, but there's a bunch of like weird. It's a Richard Donner film. It's probably I don't think it's rated that high, but I really enjoy it. Frank and just the fact that like his name's Frank Cross, and the, like the background says Cross, a thing they nail people to. Now one part it's, it's really fucking great. Uh, I I enjoyed the movie. I do. Uh, saw it's, it in the theater. Uh, who's that guy that was uh, uh, the guy who scre- the stand-up guy who screams? Bobcat Goldthwait. Hey, yes. Thank you. I like how he was giving blood in that movie. To he the was giving where he's gonna die. Oh yeah, he was giving it's blood. Based, <laughs> it's based on a Christmas Carol, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. It's it's um, a par- it's a parable of a Christmas Carol. There's a lot of good stuff in that movie. I enjoyed it. I think it holds up. I, I saw think it, it holds recently. up too. Uh, it was uh, they were running in July apparently. Yeah, no, I w- it was on it was on not too long ago, and I was annoying my girlfriend by quoting along with it. And she was <laughs> looking at me. Like, well, if you were my girlfriend, yeah, I'd love it. Yeah, I know. All right, so uh, what do you Let's give? Let's not get into that. What do you I'm going to give it an eighty. Not again. I, I, don't, I don't think I don't think a lot of people love that movie. But I'm going to say an 80. I'm All gonna, right. I'm going to low ball it. Ostrander, what say you? Well, this uh, is have weird. you seen the movie? This is one of those movies that I didn't see at all because I was like, oh, it's a Christmas Carol. And I know how it's the three things, the three ghosts. And, right. And I, I thought I'd be bored. So I've picked up on it every once in a while when it's on TV. Um, I, I, I don't even know because I had never seen the whole you, thing. You've never seen the whole thing? I've never seen the whole thing. Oh, so well, it's Bill Murray, 1988. A lot of funny hair. It's a Christmas tale based on, uh, right. what's that effing thing? Uh, Christmas, Christmas Carol. Carol. Yeah, yeah. So uh, w- what say you want a remake or a uh, spin on a remake? Probably in, in 84. Oh, okay. Going a little higher than uh, Chris. I think wow. there's some strategy there. Bill Murray, everybody uh, loves him. I don't... D-Rock, have you seen the movie? Yes, I've seen it many times. Uh, every Christmas I watch it. Uh, I think... I don't think it got rated really high. I'm going to say uh, 75. Ooh. 75. Going a little Savvy low. pick. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. I have the number in front of me. It's a 66. Ooh. So, I knew it. What? Which will well done, uh, make uh, D-Rock it, the winner. Did they say huh? why? They don't say why. Well, you can read the reviews. The comments. Um, like stale or done before. I'll say this. For my money, and I didn't put this on here, Bad Santa is the unequivocal best Christmas movie ever. I like it because it involves an alcoholic, uh, a, a kid that uh, his family is avoiding. Maybe Wait, why am I saying this? Maybe I don't it, think that would get a great review, though. Well, no, it uh, did. It, uh, you know, it's a little... It's, for me, it's brings it a little closer to home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. You can, yes. Re- you can relate yes, to that story do. more. Was that Billy Bob? Yeah, yeah yes, it, was. it was. Have you seen that movie? I've it's really it. good, actually. It's really good. It's hilarious. 
All right. Look, kids, uh, it's the end of the year. I think we need to be informed. I think we, we do. We, before the end of the year, we should know everything about our lives and the world around us. Ostrander, are you up for the challenge? I am so up for the challenge. Hit it, Lewis. It's time for the Dude Show News Show. Prepare to be informed because our news girl is down for almost anything. Now let's you know, it over. <clears throat> I want to say this. Bethany hated that. Always. <laughs> I now, thought it was we, hilarious. Edward, why do you... Hold on, Chris. I'm not okay. going to get in, go on a tangent. Yeah, please. But uh, the, the tagline out of the Dude Show News would be, I am Bethany or whatever news girl, and I am not the town whore. That's right. Do you remember the shit that she would give us for saying I'm not going to say that? Do you remember that? Yes. Uh, Christine, I would never <laughs> ask you to say that, but really, why would a woman have an issue with that? Maybe they feel like they shouldn't have to explain themselves. <laughs> you're, what? You're not getting anything? Hold on. Sorry. Some technical problems. Uh, it, it, well, I am Christine, and I am not the, the town, town whore. whore. And that's why you're a good sport. <laughs> Inform us, Miss Austria. Well, you know, speaking of the holidays, at Thanksgiving this year, my mom approached me and said, um, will you sign off on this uh your father and I don't want, we have a DNR, do not resuscitate. Oh. And we want you to sign off that you, you've acknowledged it. And also we want to be cremated to which I said, well, have you paid for those services in advance? Is that a bad question? No, I don't know. Well, uh, you know, someone has accidentally donated their human remains, cremated human remains of their family, their loved ones to Goodwill. Uh. Two boxes <laughs> of cremated <laughs> remains. Were awesome. Two, that's a lot of people. Two That'll sell. were mistaken mistakenly included amongst household items donated to an Indiana Goodwill, and they've been uh, reunited with the deceased next of kin. The employees uh, were sorting through donated items, and they found these two white boxes filled with cremains, I guess they call <laughs> them. Cremains? Is that like a, a human cronut? Like, yeah. <laughs> what no, they're that? from Atlanta. The, the, that's crunk. That's cremains. That's crunk, <laughs> crunk remains. Why they got to be white? Anyway, they sorted. They found they found uh, these boxes, and inside were velvet pouches, um, and they were remains, and they were marked with the name and the dates of the pe people, so they were able to reunite them. But I don't know. It just reminded me of uh, Thanksgiving holidays. Me too. I mean, nothing says uh, <laughs> that's horrible. You know, as a kid, well, as you know, all know, Chris, what's one of my biggest fears? Uh, dying in the nude. No. Hospitals. I oh, don't like right. it. Yeah, it's true. And yeah. uh, Christine said that uh, there's, uh, th th it's like a uh, museum for life and death or something. She yeah. said last time. Uh, I don't like an it. airport. An airport for life souls, and death. That's what souls. hospitals mm -hmm. are. I don't like it, and I also don't like picking out your f and tombstone. I don't like it. When I was a kid, I remember I had a, a childhood friend, and he told me that on a Sunday they were gonna all pick out their plots, and uh, he was. Eight. Cre creepy. <laughs> it, very creepy to start saying, this is where our uh, dead corpses. Pat Patrick's going to be the guy that leaves all his loved ones with like $100,000 in funeral fees and, uh, and <laughs> credit and debt. And, uh, I, well, no, 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 no. D-Rock, do you know what my plan is? I think you grew up next to the Adams family. I think. <laughs> uh, look, I I'll say this on this podcast. My old lady knows this now. My family knows it. Uh, I'm going to be cremated. Just light me on fire in a, one of those uh, cylinders, those steel uh, – uh, just throw my dead body steel in there. Steel drums? Yeah, steel drums. I'm going to burn you in a Weber and cook hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> I want my ashes spread at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah? Uh, that's where you I – You do I, love it. I heard, oh, I heard the fans would enjoy that. I love yeah. it. So uh, these assholes, what's going on? Uh, what, uh, yeah, anyway, you know – Is speaking, this a crime or <laughs> – <laughs> no, that's it. It's just the, it was an accidental donation. You know, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I, I want to be cremated. I don't know about you. I don't want to. It just seems like it's the most efficient thing to do. Right. Intriguing. But, I, um, you know, I don't want to wake up while they're on fire. I was at a funeral Second half. where this guy died in front of me. So the family invited me to go see him. I didn't at a funeral? Him. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> and so they have me as a guest. Uh, it was a Jewish funeral. They had me fucking throw a shovel of dirt on his uh, uh, casket. Well, it was being lowered down. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. That's normal. I really did well, you not didn't want to spit on it. You just threw dirt on it. Well, it, feel, it felt a little weird. I don't like the idea of going down on the ground. What if I wake up? <laughs> I know that. What if I wake up in the firing kill? I think they're, I know, they're I think supposed the to check thing. that. Well, you know, they, I, you hear these horror stories when you're a kid that, uh, well, they, uh, on the, especially on H3 or the History Channel 3, it'll be like, um, 
there were several um, tombstones that uh, there were scratch marks on the interior yeah. of the actual casket. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, oh my God, my worst nightmare. I go into a coma. My girlfriend says, yeah, I'm taking all the money on the life insurance. <laughs> put them down in the fucking hole. And then I wake up six hours later somehow out of a coma. And I somehow. start trying to scratch my way out of it. And then apparently, then I inevitably die because they don't hear my screams. You, you're right, yes. Pat. Uh, it'd be better to not wake up in a box, but wake up in a fucking fiery <laughs> inferno. What's next, Christine? You know, well, it's the holidays. Do you? Everyone's doing Christmas cards and not and me. Cards. No more you, cards. You guys don't do them. No. Not anymore. No, I don't really do them. Well, I, I get these in the mail, and and I get a lot of uh, people's uh, kids, or they try to do something funny, like they're all wearing pajamas. Um, oh. Well, a universe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> university. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, me, uh, Flannel pictures. me, Tara, Johnny, uh, Sarah, uh, and the dog. Yeah, we're all doing great. And by the way, the, I, I look at that picture. I love to look at it on my fridge and go, he, "He's fucking uh, some Vegas whores." <laughs> Uh, she's got uh, she's got herpes. That bitch over there. She's got the clamp. And that little kid's half retarded. Uh, I can't even <laughs> do algebra. That little fuck. And that wow. dog. Oh, I ever see that dog out? I'll let him run amok. Well, what a, a university. <laughs> of what? Of Pennsylvania fraternity has been suspended um, for sending Good. out a holiday card showing the mostly white group of college kids posing with what is uh, what they were calling a Beyonce sex doll. Mm. And Phi, De Phi, De excuse me, Phi Data Delta's national leadership <laughs> halted its pen Phi chapter. <laughs> I felt the thigh. Um, anyway, they said the card was uh, racist and misogynistic and uh, in poor taste. What else is judgment? Well, why would it be racist and misogynistic? Well, it's funny because I looked at the picture and I don't have it, but it's literally a whole bunch of frat guys, and you can imagine in their in their living room. And in the I couldn't even see it, maybe because it was dark. But there was a black, oh my god, there Kristen. was a black Pull blow up, the up picture. doll, and <laughs> you could barely see it. But it's true, like. Yeah. It's important. I think it means they're doll. the opposite of racist. I think it means that they, you know, if they had their blow up doll is a is a black doll and they're a bunch of white dudes, then they're not racist. They actually yeah. enjoy that, and that's what gets them off. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Well, hey, anyway, Lewis, you've been quiet on the sound of. Uh, I'm an equal opportunity whacker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Uh, let's see a picture of this. Well, are you, you going to pull up the photo? Hold on. Uh, right, um, we're going to need a minute. Is, you're Quickly. Hurry. Wow, no pressure. You guys. Well, all right, fine. No no, no pressure at all. Nope. <clears throat> anyway. Uh... Ah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Always and funny, never scene. not funny. Guys, I don't know where it is. Yeah. Okay, okay. Fine, yeah, fine, fine, continue, fine, fine, continue. All right, so what's up? Oh, okay, so uh, do you drink coffee? Oh, I enjoy uh, some uh, coffee. Like, yeah. I can't. Li oh, wait, wait. I found it. So all right, let me see it. Last all, right, let me, I'll just, all right, here it is. <laughs> Can you even see? Where's Waldo? All right, so we're looking at uh, 80 white guys, uh, the whitest guys you've ever seen. A lot of good looking guys. This guy's wearing uh, <laughs> Why'd you fucking uh, pajama pants. You guys, this loser. is the uh, Phi Delta Theta um, in Pennsylvania, if you want to uh, Google it. You know what I hate about these guys? My girlfriend will look at them and go, oh, there she is. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, that's our, that's okay. that. I, I when you said Beyonce, I was thinking Beyonce. This is like uh, a, Beyonce. Uh, she's but uh, twenty years in. This uh, is Zimbabwe. This is this is like Zimbabwe. Uh, oh, wow. Zimbabwe. Yeah. This is like give this, <laughs> this chick a sandwich, uh, Beyonce. Beyonce. Can you even find the doll? But it's it looks like actually someone who'd been in a fire. Oh, like it's oh been really God. thin. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So anyway, that we, is not right. That is not I'm right. Maybe gonna, they no, lit their blow up doll on fire hey, and blew look, it out. Hey, look, peeps, come on. Well, do we have to take everything to heart? Uh, it's funny. <laughs> but even, but even if it was, let's say, white. Oh, we down. Yeah, I, more, I like uh, that you can only see it. its eyes. Here's, here's <laughs> a, okay, here's the here's here's the irony of this picture. That's it. The brothers of Phi Delta Theta wish you a merry Christmas, and there ain't one brother in the picture. There ain't a brother. That's uh, true. I beg to differ. They are all brothers. In no, their they're brothers of a sort. But they're brothers fraternity of brothers. Mother. I know brothers. Brothers of another right. mother. Australia, what else you, you got? You know what? Nothing says the holidays like cocaine. And a oh, yeah, right. uh, what, who, what, you got some? A, Ber a Berlin coffee business share. has found stimulants it didn't expect to in a shipment of unroasted coffee yeah. from Brazil. Ooh, yes. Nearly 73 pounds of cocaine. Um, were found in uh, the German capital, and they said employees at the coffee roasting business found a bag full of the drug 
uh, when they cocaine. open a newly arrived Down con- to the ground, cocaine. container. Uh, it was shipped from Brazil to Germany, and it was on its way to Berlin, and that's about it. But seventy-three pounds. I wonder. I wonder how much this actually happens, but we never hear about it because if really you wanted it, you just wouldn't say anything. Well, I mean, everybody's seen Beverly Hill, Beverly Hills Cop. Oh, yes, ship we it, all ship enjoy it, that. Ship it in the coffee grounds. Yeah, you know, absolutely. They, they, that was the blueprint for drug yeah, smuggling, right? <laughs> coffee grounds. They use it to cover up the hair. Yeah, and Probably. they had that secret. They've got to go somehow. Whoa, 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 whoa. First off, it doesn't. Isn't it just crystal meth now made in a bathtub? Not from no, Brazil. No, there's still from a lot Brazil. of Colombian we get from blow Mexico. coming in, but it comes into Miami. Well, uh, look, I'm not going to say that I agree with that. They found one bag. There were really three in the shipment. <laughs> yeah. that's the one they caught. There was to. really ten. They reported. There was yeah. 150 <laughs> pounds, and they reported 10 30. pounds. 30. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So, peeps, let's go around the table. Yeah. What do we hope for the next year? Chris, I'm going to start with you. Good health, happiness, and prosperity for everybody in this at this everybody? table. Everybody? Yeah, everybody at this table. Uh, yeah. Uh, how about ISIS? We, them? Not at, at the table. Oh, at the table. Wait, what are you, oh. fucking deaf? Well, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, uh, well, that's pretty yeah, good. Don't, don't get angry. Don't, right, don't get angry. I'm just saying. Louis, uh, producer Louis, what do you say? What's your wishes for the new year? I wish everyone a happy and healthy new year. Wow. Mm. Really Simple. Nice. Good. Really nice guy. Simple and eloquent. Ostrander? Less assholes on social social media, less false headlines with bad click throughs that lead to no, no story whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And um and yeah, just like a little bit more uh tolerance. <laughs> I think is wishing for spot not to lay yeah, I'm wishing lay for spot not to lay on my jacket. That's what I'm fucking wishing for. No, uh, <laughs> Rob. If you can see Spot, he's just a hot mess. He smells to all hell, and he's all right, leaving. My, look, all right, my dog. I do. I I know. I know what I want to say though. Well, what do you want to say? Is that for the new year? I hope that people can take more responsibility for their own life and their own actions because everybody is too busy blaming everybody else. They blame the president. They blame healthcare. Police. They blame everything. Just take fucking responsibility for what you have going on and just do your shit. Play me Rocky music. Amen. Like that. Brother. Oh, boy. I am glad to have this opportunity to talk as well. I would like this. Ne- oh, 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 oh. It's coming. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, take Keep your time, Louis. There's, there is. Look, I, I know Louis <laughs> is a little gun shy. He thinks. <laughs> I hope that we can all find ourselves this year. Uh, be more comfortable with who we are. Chris, I accept you as who you are. I accept you as <laughs> a bald bearded man. You've all you've been that uh, yeah, you've been yeah, that yeah. way since I've known you. Yes, Lewis, your hair is getting higher. So are your spirits. Goddamn right. Ostrander, you and I, we've gotten closer this year. You were always Lewis's girlfriend, but now you're a friend. <laughs> D Rock, <laughs> what, what are you laughing about, you son of a bitch? I'm just laughing. You're right, funny. I'm, tr- I'm trying to give a heart to heart. Yeah, I, I see that. I feel it. D Rock. Gotta wrap it up in 30 seconds. <laughs> All right. What? What? No, no. We we own this music, dude. No. No. All right. Yeah, we own Rocky. Yeah. All right. Fine. Look, I want to have a great goddamn year. Last year, I had D Rock. Don't leave D Rock. D Rock. Jesus. What? Uh, thank you for being a friend. <laughs> thank you for being <laughs> giving, a friend. He's giving you the goalie. D Rock. What do you wish for? Look the here, you yeah. sons of bitches. This podcast didn't blow up this year. <laughs> no, no, no. This podcast didn't blow up this year, and it's your fault. You should have shared it more with the <laughs> effing friend. I'm hoping next year you guys, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Social media a little bit more. Yes. You fucked up this year, but I'm going to forgive you for this. We're going to be blowing this up in 2015. That's right. Suck my dick. I'll see you next year. Peace out, bitches. Yeah. Happy holidays. <laughs> <sighs>
right, it's getting really close to the election date. I'm voting, please don't cut off my section eight. As soon as past the past the collection plate, I'm like, shit, I'm trying to stack for what escalate. But pay your ties, time's money, I devise wise, cunning little plans to withstand. When cats drive by funny like I ain't got what he got, I don't play that. Nigga, we bay cats that don't fuck with J cats. You trying to act like a boss?